photosynthesis of cholesterol. Now this cholesterol is a major constituent of the plasma membrane in animal cells. Now most of the cholesterol derives from the endogenous biosynthesis which mainly takes in the liver. Okay, so in liver there is endogenous biosynthesis of cholesterol. Now cholesterol is also taken up from the food. Okay, so the food we eat from that also we can get cholesterol but most of the cholesterol is uh, synthesized by the liver now most of the cholesterol is incorporated into lipid bilayer of the plasma membrane or it is converted into bile acid so two things happens to your cholesterol at the most either it is incorporated into the plasma membrane or it is converted into bile acids. Now small amount of cholesterol is also used in the biosynthesis of steroid hormones. You also produce steroid hormones from cholesterol. Now all 27 carbons of cholesterol are provided by the acetate moiety that is acetyl coenzyme A. Okay, so all the carbons are provided by acetate moiety. Now there are four basic steps in the biosynthesis of cholesterol. Now let's see them. Okay, now the first step in the synthesis of cholesterol is the formation of mevalonate from acetate. Okay, in the first step, acetate is converted into mevalonate. Now, first step of cholesterol biosynthesis leads to the formation of intermediate mevalonate. Okay, the first step leads to intermediate mevalonate. Now, in this step, what happens is that acetyl coenzyme A molecules condenses and produces acetoacetyl coenzyme A. Okay, this acetoacetyl coenzyme A is produced when acetyl coenzyme molecules are condensed. And then this acetoacetyl coenzyme A again condenses with a third molecule of acetyl coenzyme A. Okay. So, in total, three molecules of acetyl coenzyme A are getting condensed and that yields a 6-carbon compound which is known as beta-hydroxy-beta-methyl-glutaryl coenzyme A which is abbreviated as HMG coenzyme A. So, two acetyl coenzyme A molecule condenses, acetoacetyl coenzyme A is formed. Now this acetoacetyl coenzyme A again condenses with another acetyl coenzyme A and this produces this HMG coenzyme A. So HMG coenzyme A is made up of three acetyl coenzyme A molecules. Now the third reaction is a committed and rate limiting step. Okay, this third reaction is the reduction of this HMG coenzyme A into mevalonate and this reduction of this HMG coenzyme A into mevalonate is catalyzed by a integral membrane protein of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum which is known as HMG coenzyme A reductase. So this HMG coenzyme reductase is causing the reduction of HMG coenzyme A because of which there is formation of this mevalonate. In the second step of the cholesterol synthesis, there is conversion of this mevalonate, which was formed in the first step, into isopentenyl pyrophosphate. Mevalonate is converted into isopentenyl pyrophosphate. 
Now after phosphorylation, this mevalonate which is formed is decarboxylated into isopentenyl pyrophosphate which is an activated C5 isoprenout compound and in this uh, decarboxylation process there is consumption of the ATP. Okay, and so in the second step this mevalonate is decarboxylated and isopentenyl pyrophosphate is produced. Now in the third step of cholesterol synthesis there is polymerization of 6 isopentenyl pyrophosphate to form a linear structure which is known as squalene. So polymerization of 6 isopentenyl pyrophosphate result in the formation of squalene. So in this step, isopentenyl pyrophosphate undergoes isomerization to form dimethyl allyl diphosphate. Okay. Dimethyl allyl diphosphate is formed by the isomerization of isopentenyl pyrophosphate. Now, two carbon-5 molecules condense to form this geranyl pyrophosphate and in this geranyl pyrophosphate there is addition of another isopentenyl pyrophosphate which results in the formation of farnesyl pyrophosphate. Okay, so farnesyl pyrophosphate is produced. How it is produced? It is produced from isopentenyl pyrophosphate and ger geranyl pyrophosphate okay by the addition of these two parnesyl pyrophosphate is produced and this geranyl pyrophosphate is produced when two carbon 5 molecule undergo condensation now this parnesyl pyrophosphate undergo dimerization reaction that is head to head reaction and with, when this Parnesyl pyrophosphate undergoes dimerization reaction, then it yields squalene. Okay, so in the third step, there is formation of a linear structure known as squalene, and this is formed by the polymerization of six isopentenyl pyrophosphates. Now, in fourth step of cholesterol biosynthesis there is cycli cyclization of, of squalene and this cyclization of squalene results into formation of a steroid nucleus. So, okay, in the fourth step there is formation of steroid nucleus. Now this squalene which is a linear isoprenoid is cyclized and when squalene is cyclized O2 is consumed and cyclization of squalene results in the formation of lanosterol and this lanosterol is a sterol which has 30 carbons in it okay okay so lanosterol is produced by the cyclization of squalene now three methyl groups from this lanosterol are cleaved in the subsequent reaction step and then that yields to the end product which is cholesterol okay cholesterol is produced when the three methyl groups of the lenosterol are cleaved so that is how the formation of cholesterol takes place now let's look at the formation of mevalonate from acetyl coenzyme a so you start with 2 acetyl coenzyme A and those two molecules of acetyl coenzyme A are converted into acetoacetyl coenzyme A. And this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme thiolase. And in this reaction there is release of coenzyme A. Okay. Now this acetoacetyl coenzyme A 
is converted into HMG coenzyme A. Okay, and this reaction is catalyzed by HMG coenzyme A synthase. And in this process, acetyl coenzyme A molecule is converted into coenzyme A. Okay, it means one acetyl is added here. Now, after that, this HMG coenzyme A is converted into mevalonate. Okay, and this reaction is catalyzed by HMG coenzyme A reductase. And in this reaction, a coenzyme A molecule is released. And 2NADPH are converted into 2NADP+. So as you can see, this HMG coenzyme A is reduced to mevalonate. Okay, because there is consumption of this NADPH molecules in here. And after that, finally, this mevalonate is converted into cholesterol. So that is how the process takes place from acetyl coenzyme A mevalonate is synthesized and from this mevalonate then cholesterol is synthesized at last.